My name is Tabin. I'm a pup, or Clark, um, and welcome to another edition of Math with Tabin, my marker. And today um, I want to talk to you about a uh, useful, in certain situations, technique of integration called partial fractions. Um, now, partial fractions aren't necessarily, they don't need to be an integral thing. Partial fractions is an algebra technique that helps us integrate things. Partial fractions is also useful for many other reasons, and so it's purely an uh, algebraic technique. But we're going to use it to help us integrate things. And the idea is you want to turn something you don't know how to do, turn it into something you do know how to do. So for example, if you knew, so here's the idea, if you knew that 2x minus 2 over x plus 1 times x minus 3, if you knew that this actually equals 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x minus 3, I mean, you can see it works. You, you add these fractions, you get that. If you knew that, then integrating is easy because then the integral of that is just the integral of that type, those things. And the integral of these is easy. Easy. So that's the idea is we want to take something we don't know how to do, and we're going to use this idea of partial fractions to break it up into something nice like this that turns out to be easy to integrate. So the board is magically turned into our example problem. So the idea is we want to write this as easy things that, well, nicer things. And what you do is if you have the product of linear factors, so these are just, you're multiplying two first degree things. If you write this, and this is a theorem in algebra that says we can do this. 2x plus 3. So you just take each factor, put it in the denominator, and the thing is we just have to find out what number goes on top. Well, this theorem that I talked about says, the partial fraction decomposition theorem, says that these will be numbers. And we have to find a and b. Well, so the idea here is this is an equation. So we can manipulate it like um, any old equation. So if I multiply both sides, clear the fractions, multiply by this denominator here. Now let you do the algebra, make sure you can do the algebra. If I multiply all this by that, on this side, this left hand side, it cancels and we're just left with a three. If you multiply by that, the x minus 1's cancel, and we're left with the 2x plus 3 thingy. And if we multiply this by that, the 2x plus 3 cancels, and we're left with the x minus 1. Okay? There are several ways you can go from here. In this case, it's the easiest way to go and to try is this is supposed to hold for any value of x, so pick a value of x that works for you. For example, if I were to put in a 1 for x, this whole term goes away, right? Because anything times 0 is 0. And then we can solve for a. So x equals 1 makes go away. <laughs> so if I plug in a 1 for x, I get 3 equals a, 2 plus 3 is 5. And this is just a 0. It's minus. So that means that a is 3 fifths. Then in the same way, we can find out what b is by plugging in the right <laughs> value for x. So let's see. We want to pick the value of x that makes this 0. And if x is negative, 
Hey, what does it have to be? Negative three halves? I mean, you play around with it, but like, you try it. If you go negative three halves, let's see, you get three equals, put a negative three halves in here, you get negative three plus three is zero, plus B times negative three halves minus one, which is negative five halves. So, B is 3 divided by negative 5 halves, or multiplied by negative 2 fifths, however you want to solve for B, so you get negative 6 fifths. So then, so that means A and B right there, A, B, A is 3 fifths, and B is negative 6 fifths. And now integration is easy, right? Because if you want to integrate that, this guy, x minus 1 times 2x plus 3 is the integral of that plus that. Plus this guy over 2x plus 3. And those are easy to integrate. You get natural logs and stuff. So I'll let you do that equals because the, the main thing is I wanted to show you the partial fraction part. I, I'm assuming that you, you know the basic integration part. So that's the basic idea of partial fractions. You have to do, if you have squares and cubes and repeated powers or quadratic things in the denominator, you do the same basic thing, your setup is a little different. And I'll talk about that in another video, I just wanted this to give you the basic ideas. So I hope this has helped you out, I hope you've had fun, I know I have, so I'll see you next time on Math with Taven. Bark, bark.